Hi Aries and welcome to your Who's Got Their Eye On You reading for the month of December. Please bear in mind these messages can resonate for the month of December. For those that are after private readings, I do have a list of prices and services below in the show more section. Otherwise, if you enjoy this video Aries, please feel free to like, share, subscribe or comment. Thank you in advance so much for doing that. Let's get straight into it and see who's coming in around you that's got their eye on you Aries who's got their eye on you what can we learn about this person who's got their eye on you okay the full card beautiful this could be another fellow Aries that's admiring you from afar this is someone that's very youthful very very high spirited this is someone that embraces change is quite mutable um, I feel like they're on the edge of a breakthrough of some kind here. Now, this could be someone you know at work. This could be someone you know as a friend that you know is on the edge of a breakthrough um, in terms of work, maybe in creative pursuits, getting their business off the ground, um, maybe for um, pursuing studies even with the full card. But I feel like this person is on the edge of something. There's also movement. The fool can be seen as a traveler. And I feel like this person there's something to do with either taking a leap of faith and making a major change in their life in terms of living location, where they're working, what they're doing for, for work, uh, what they're doing in their career, what they're doing in their life. There's something about a new goal that's attracting this person. They can have a bit of a naive, um, I guess they're prone to naive um, elements here. So they may be quite gullible sometimes maybe they're a little bit young-minded not to say immature I wouldn't say immature that's probably the incorrect term of going about it I feel like with the full card sometimes they give people the benefit of the doubt and they don't see someone who's really sincere so maybe there's still lessons that need to be learned here Aries for this person with the full card or maybe not maybe they've learned on the, all the lessons and now they know sometimes they just need to take a leap of faith they need to take a chance I almost feel like this person is purposely making changes to get noticed by you. So whether this is something they've communicated, an action, a word, um, a gesture, I feel like it's all, it's all to get noticed. And sometimes it might even be a little bit over the top Aries, but it'll definitely grab your attention is what I'm seeing here. And almost like you can see her that the birds are trying to stop her from, from leaning, from toppling over and going diving head first so I feel like sometimes they they don't know when to stop Aries is what I'm getting from this sometimes they're maybe a little bit too forward and they don't know when they've crossed the boundary or not is how I see it with the full card but look this can be someone that is well traveled someone that has walked um, walked down many paths journeyed many roads maybe has traveled quite a fair bit in their lifetime they could also be uh, a young soul they could with the full card okay the two of swords this is air energy Gemini Libra or Aquarius okay with the two of swords present I feel like this person has shut themselves off to love um, or is blinded um, to seeing if you're interested or not I feel like they're closed minded here look at this Closing themselves off to love. And the heart is dangling. I feel like for some there's been, they've gone out on a limb and they've confessed their love or they've confessed their interest to you, Aries. But some of you have been non-responsive to this or non-receptive and they feel like they've closed off now is what I'm seeing here. They almost feel maybe a little bit foolish for going out on a limb and expressing themselves and they haven't gotten much back from you in return. Whether or not that's because you genuinely feel these feelings and reciprocate the same feelings this person is feeling or perhaps it's due to the fact that you don't see you don't really you, you haven't acknowledged this or maybe you have and you're just still trying to digest all of this Aries but I feel like someone's closed off here someone's in two minds I feel it's more of a barrier or a block with the two of swords it could also indicate this person has someone else that they're interested in as well Aries but most prominently, I feel like they've done something, they've come forward, they've made some sort of confession or gesture or even through their words um, and, and the offer hangs, so to speak. Look at the heart here, it's hanging and it's delicate, it's tender and it's delicate, it's still recent or raw 
And this is why this person is closing themselves off. Maybe they don't want to go back there. Maybe they feel foolish or embarrassed, Aries, that they've come out and you haven't done or said anything to reciprocate their feelings. I also feel like this could be, with the swords here, could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but in particular a Gemini that's around you because there's two sides to this person. There's duality. Um, so it could be they have... They are ruled by the twins. They do have the twins somewhere in their chart. For some, I feel like this person is trying to block off their feelings for you because maybe they feel foolish in thinking they had a chance with you or maybe they feel foolish in the sense that they maybe they're coupled up and they can't actually pursue anything. So they're trying to block and, 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 build, and build this barrier. Sorry. Um, in regards to their feelings, but they're only getting stronger. I mean, the more we deny something, the more guilty we are of it. Okay, what's fallen out? Temperance. This is a Sagittarius that's come through with a temperance card here. Okay, this is powerful. Something about moderation. T being temperamental. Something about needing an even balance. Okay. For some, I feel like the person that has their eye on you is your counterpart, Aries. Is your other half, so to speak. Look at the colors in here. It almost looks like this yin and yang symbol. And there's an even mix of both. And I feel like the two of you, its you're being divinely guided to each other. There's an angel here. And she's orchestrating this yin and yang symbol. This is divine orchestration between the two of you, Aries. So for some, it might not necessarily be, or have this person might not necessarily have the attributes I've described. However, I feel you have someone that's fated, that's coming in around you and looking to you because they feel on a very strong spiritual or emotional level, they feel very, very drawn to you with the temperance card here. And this is alchemy. This is someone that has been meaning to attract someone like you and you've walked into their life, you've made it known that... Your, your presence is exactly what they're looking for. And they've been waiting for someone like you. The temperance is all about moderation. The temperance is all about being patient and watching something that comes together, that comes to fruition, that is beautiful and blissful and real. And this is exactly how this person is feeling. And for some, some of you Aries out there, I feel like you've been waiting for someone like this all along too. And maybe it's you that's been blocking this person off. But I feel with a temperance card, this person has been guided to you. And they feel that you're in their life for a, for a purpose, for a reason. Whether they need to learn lessons or whether this is a soulmate connection. It could very well be a twin flame that's, that's coming up and that's looking at you. Okay, the Ten of Swords, more air energy, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius with the Ten of Swords here. This person is being drawn to something, drawn to an ending. I also feel like they're caught up in something. You can see her here and she's caught up in what looks like this web or emotion, a web of emotion or just feeling really trapped or confined. That something's going to eventuate from this Aries for this person. Either something proceeds, something comes of this, or all is lost with the Ten of Swords. I feel like there's an ending or and a very new beginning that will follow soon after for this person here. And it could something could have to do with you. You could be part of this ending or this new beginning with the Ten of Swords. For some, I feel like they're ending a relationship and you're coming into their life and suddenly everything starts to make sense again for them. For others, the, the, this person is going through a period of, of mental or emotional blockage and they need to take a leap of faith. They need to come out of this. They need to spread their wings. They need to soar. For some, I feel like you've had an admirer but you and they feel very connected to you. However, you haven't shown them any indication that you're interested, Aries, or that you're feeling the same way and they're soaring. They're actually moving away from you because no longer can they be entangled in a web of emotion that they know nothing will eventuate from. So they're ready to, they're getting ready to move on. 
they're getting ready to start a fresh start anew is what I'm seeing here Aries but look I will leave it at that I hope this reading has been insightful for you I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give me a thumbs up otherwise all the best Aries Merry Christmas and we'll chat soon thanks again